Oh, we are winding down here in Indianapolis, but it has been another great day of incoming NFL players. And we're going to talk now to LSU national champion, edge rusher, Caleb on chase on. Welcome to the program. Most valuable player in the draft. I heard you said that over at the podium. I'm intrigued by that confidence. What makes you think you're the most valuable player in this well, draft? I know I'm the most valuable player in the draft. I mean, as far as like I, like I spoke before, you want a guy and when you hire, when you're starting up a business, do you want to hire people who speak one language or you want to hire people who speak three languages, three or four languages? And I feel like I speak three or four languages very well. I mean, obviously you still got that one language, your first love language that you know to like the, you know, regardless of the situation. But I mean, the three or four languages that I speak is, is just, it's, it's no different. I mean, I feel like a lot of players in this draft that, that you can feel like we're in the same position. They are a one-dimensional player, and once you stop their game, it's kind of a, a less impactful person. And I feel like if you, if you, if any way I'm one of my games ever get stopped, I got three or four other games that are, that are very that impact the game very well. What are they specifically? I mean, my always my, my my best of the best will always be my pass rush, but I can drop in coverage and cover any any receiver you want. I feel like I can play corner. I got the good feet and hips for it. Um, I feel like my I play the run very well. I'm always making tackles for losses. I feel like I had a great amount this year, even with the with the amount of games I played. I feel like my special teams play is, is tremendous. I take pride in being on special teams. I definitely would vouch for wherever team I go to to be a part of the special teams, whether it's punt or kickoff. And just as far as my football like you, I feel like that's the best of the best. I don't feel like there's no, there's no anybody in this draft better than me and when it comes to football like you. Do you take more pride in your speed or in your physicality? My physicality. A lot of guys see me as a slim guy, so obviously they think they know that it's the speed. And when it comes to being a powerful and standing up 350 guy, 350 pound guys on the run block, that's something I take pride in. It's, and it's really just a mindset. It don't have anything to do with the physical gift, but have the mindset of being like, you're not going to move me. You're not going to put me on the ground. You're not going to body me. You're not going to get this edge or reach me. And I feel like I, I, I live with that mindset throughout the game. Who did you hit the hardest at the college level? Who did I hit the hardest at the college level? Would well, probably have to be my Georgia Southern game. Hit the running back. Um, on a on a quarterback draw, I feel like, and it put him out at the, for the rest of the game. What did did he make a sound? What it did. did. He, what, what was the sound? Um, you definitely hear the stadium go ooh <laughs> on the national TV. So I feel like that's definitely impactful when you hear the stadium go ooh, and then just saying, I mean, don't wish this upon anybody, but obviously just having a big impactful hit, the ball coming out, and just having the guy being helped off the field and just lets you know I put some type of force upon it. What was the feeling for you winning a national championship? I'm ecstatic. Uh, however, though, it still felt like it was surreal. I mean, obviously going through a long season, I just felt like it was just much more we had to do. And I just, I still felt like at the end of the game, the defense didn't play as well as I wanted them to. I felt like it was just still so much more. We haven't, we didn't even reach our peak yet. And, but I mean, obviously they helped us out. We came out with a W, but it was a, it was a surreal feeling that we worked for. And I'm glad that we got it. We used to hear about rookies hitting the wall during their first NFL season, but you had 15 games. There's no wall. You've already been through the wall. Yeah, exactly. I mean, especially, I know next year when you do four preseason games and you have 16 games, that's 20 games already. Then including if you make the playoffs, that's an extra set of games. So it's a long season. That's something that you have to be definitely prepared for physically and mentally. But going through a 15-game season already that most don't ever go through, I feel like that's it's definitely helped the confidence. Were you one of the guys smoking a cigar in the locker room after the <laughs> <laughs> the win? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Burrow was. Give me your give me your scouting report on Joe Burrow as a teammate and as a quarterback in the NFL. Man, great guy. Great guy. I mean, I think he takes pride in being more of a team player than anything. And even after he won the Heisman, he came back the next day in his regular clothes like nothing happened. Um, he was asking Coach, can he work out? But Coach didn't, Coach didn't let him do the, uh, the workouts that day just to give him a mental break from going through all that just as far as. But it's something that I definitely want on my team just as a quarterback who doesn't feel the superb or above anybody. Um, you, every time you see him in the locker room, he's sitting with his legs crisscross applesauce, and he's just, trying to, he's just trying to learn something new from us, just being from an up north guy and being around a bunch of guys down south or trying to learn our lingo, our language, or just the way we eat things. And just he's always somebody who's willing to learn something. And I love somebody like that. Your, your coach, Ed Orgeron, is a hell of a coach and a hell of a character. Give me, give me your best Ed Orgeron story. Man, so we, we take it back to recruiting. I never forget this, and I kind of told him. I kind of told him it was shut down. I was gonna take my talents to Texas, and um, kind of wasn't having that. So um, he set up a home visit. I was on the way to Florida, Florida for official visit, and I was like, Coach, we don't have time for a home visit. I'm about to head out. 
man, he came to my house at four in the morning, knocking on the door while everybody sleep. And then he, he made sure he got his visit in. And, and I was like, coach, we got to head to the airport. We got to be there for six. And he literally followed me to the airport and walked me all the way through TSA and just like, bro, we got to have you, please, please. And he's like, I know what to do with you. I'm telling you, we're going to be the best of a duo. And I mean, I felt like that or any coach do all that is definitely more than a job to him. It's personal. And I feel like we gained the connection throughout just being my first offer, my first college offer before I played a down in varsity football. That's awesome. That is I awesome. I feel like it, we, it was it was well worth it. Who, who did you play high school football with? What was the school? I played North Shore, North Shore in Houston, Texas. Do we have uh, highlights of Caleb on? Chase on in high school. Oh, there it is. Man. <laughs> Tell us what's going on here. Oh, yeah. my, that's what's going on. Athlete. Oh, jeez. There's one of the languages. And there's two yeah. of the languages, right? <laughs> Let's see what else we got. That was something. Oh. Uh, was that gloves or was you, or were you barehanded? No, nah, it was gloves. It was gloves. How about that spin move? Uh. What do we got here? here. You remember this game? Change the change direction. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Get that draw an ooh in the stadium. Get down. What, what do we got here? Uh. You're just going to bend around the corner. I'll, I'll bend you. Did you, uh, at some point during high school, you decided you had enough? Um, as far as? Football. Did you did you stop playing at some point? So I did. I did. Uh, after my freshman and my sophomore year, I told it that I felt like I wanted to be a hoop star. I felt like I had wow. dreams of being the best basketball player in the world. And I definitely found out that the 6'4 four power fours don't get too hard. <laughs> too far this I mean. So, I mean, I kind of had that understanding. A lot of football coaches kept trying to get me, but I was like, man, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I mean, I'm dunking. I'm not windmilling, but I'm, I'm making it. And as far as uh, even the basketball coaches tell me, it's like, that might be your best thing. Is I used to always go in the game, I'm going to get the five fouls worth it. You know, a lot of guys who talk in their mess, I'm going to go get the five fouls and come out the game with a great smile. But just transferring my, my physicality and my athletic ability to the game of football, that definitely helped me in the best way. Were you the best basketball player on the LSU football team? I'm definitely vouching for that. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of guys with good talent, but I'm the best basketball player all around. I got handles, shots, rebounds, all that. Give me the starting five a basketball team from the LSU football squad. Okay. So we're going to go with me. Well, all right, let's go. We got Stephon Sullivan. We're going to have him at the big man. Um, we want to go with Thaddeus Moss to have him. Absolutely. Randy's son. Yes, you got to. He's an athlete with the big hands. I'm Where's go he going to be? Power forward? He's going to be a power forward. Yeah. You know, stretch the floor. And also, you're going to have me at small forward. You have Justin Jefferson at – we have him at shooting guard. That's the, he has the best shot on the team. I can give him that. And who's running point? Uh, point? Uh, that's a good question. I have, I have to reevaluate. Joe Burrow. Does he play basketball? Man, Joe do play basketball. So we'll put Justin at the point guard. We have we're gonna have Joe at the two. We're and then, and and Coach O coaches the team, right? And Coach O is definitely the motivational of yeah, the team. Yeah, all game long. <laughs> oh. And five fouls to give. Five fouls to give. All and right. Probably get his tech, but it'll be definitely worth it. Well, hey man, it's been great talking to you. I can tell. You know, we've talked to a lot of guys. The personalities jump out, and you're going to be a character in a good way yes, at sir. the NFL level. And it's going to serve you well. And you, you, I can tell you're going to be a good teammate, and you can do all these different things. And we can't wait to see it happen. Caleb on Chase on folks. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.